Yeah. Indian Arch Slide by Thomas Chung and Zachariah Saiban. The British. Although the British didn't establish themselves as early as the Portuguese or the Dutch, they made several key decisions. When the Portuguese started to decline, the British saw this as an opportunity to establish an official relationship with the Mughal Empire. The British established authority. The British also slowly spread their presence in the Indian trade around the coast and acquired new locations for trade. The Battle of Plassey. In the 1750s, Siraj Adola took over as the ruling Nawab in Bengal. In 1756, Siraj attacked the British in Calcutta and imprisoned 40 English residents from Fort St. Williams. While in prison, the English people were suffocated to death. In 1757, Robert Clive led his troops to the town of Plassey in order to overtake Siraj in the Battle of Plassey. The Battle of Plassey is a very important moment in Indian history and represents a shift in the British presence on the subcontinent. Economic and land reorganization. In 1765, under the military command of Robert Clive, the East Indian Company and the Mughal Empire signed the Treaty of Malabar. The British began it in stalling British generals into Indian governmental positions such as governor, despite the obvious changes to the daily functions of government. The EIC continued using Mughal and Indian symbol and minting coins in the per Persian, which was the official language of the government, though not widely spoken amongst the people. Elite responses to the EIC. In Calcutta, the hub of EIC presence in Bengal, Indian elites and the British worked together to found the Hindu College in 1817. Here, Indians could receive education in English, greatly improving their chances for employment under the British Raj in the colonial state. The English instruction became increasingly important for well-paying jobs since the official language of the government changed from Persian to English in 1835. From the Young Bengal Movement, through the Bengali Renaissance, a time of cultural and political growth for Bengalis. Ramahan Roy led the movement. Also, the British power. The British directly ruled some, while others served the British indirectly and maintained the name and figurehead of local leadership. The states under indirect rule were known as princely states, while the territories of direct ruler were known as British India. Many of the crops that the British demanded did not have much benefit in the lives of peasants, that is, the crops were not food and they couldn't grow their own crops. In another effort to assert a power over multiple states, the Hossi commissioned the building of a canal from the Ganges River. The canal expanded the agricultural territory of India by bringing water to the land with otherwise fertile soil. The canal stretched for 500 miles and greatly improved the livelihood of peasants in the surrounding area in the short term. You got the maps of India, the political map. These are the more exciting. This slide was presented by Lisa Gonzalez, Giovanni Montes, and Kevin Chong.